having access to safe and affordable drinking water services is a basic human right as well as one of the targets of the sustainable development goals but currently there is no consensus on what the word affordable means currently globally and nationally affordability is measured as the percentage of household income or expenditure spent on accessing a main source of drinking water however this approach provides a flawed picture, particularly in contexts where people use multiple sources to cope with changing water quality, infrastructure breakdown, poverty, and so on. We conducted a water diary study in coastal Bangladesh where we trained 120 households to record their water sources, amounts, cost, as well as their itemized household expenditures every day for a period of one year. We identified different expenditure groups. On the one hand, there are people who always depend on pond sand filters, rainwater, as well as shallow tubules, and hence they incur no costs. On the other end, we have people who purchase vended water throughout the year and hence end up spending anything between 5 to 7% of their household expenditures. These choices are driven by multiple factors, including the household's socioeconomic status, their proximity to water infrastructure, the seasonality, as well as individual habits and preferences. We argue that any meaningful measure of affordability should not only measure what people spend for water, but also account for the service levels they are getting in exchange.